Good morning, Tri-C Elementary. This is Principal Mrs. Forby, and today is Friday, October 22nd. Happy birthday today to Mark Silva. Boys and girls, please help me with our cool tool. We roar by keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. Let's say that again. We roar by keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. Now let's say our Tri-C vision. Together, creating relationships and inspiring all children. Let's say that again. Together, creating relationships and inspiring all children. Boys and girls, don't forget the PTO tailgate is tonight from 5.30 to 7. Don't forget there's free food bounce house fun for the whole family. I hope to see you outside down by the second and third grade wings for our PTO tailgate tonight. Hope to see you there. Boys and girls, today for our cafeteria expectations, we're going to talk about what it looks like to be organized in the cafeteria. Organized. So to be organized in the cafeteria, when coming in and using the hand sanitizer, we are only going to use one pump of hand sanitizer. If we use more than one, we have so much hand sanitizer on our hands that it drips off onto the floor and kind of makes a mess. So one pump for the hand sanitizer. Make sure you are always facing your table. So you are sitting down and your table is right here. Make sure we're not turning around and facing our friends. Also, we keep both feet on the floor at, when we're at the table. We keep our food to ourselves. We don't share our food and we don't throw our food. And if we drop food or we make a mess, remember, we try to pick it up. And then after you dump your trays or, or throw your trash away, make sure you return to your seat until you are dismissed to line up. All right, boys and girls, that's what it means to be organized in the cafeteria. Today, I'm going to be highlighting the book, There Was an Old Scientist Who Swallowed a Dinosaur. This is by Lucille Calandro and illustrated by Jared Lee. There was an old scientist who swallowed a dinosaur. I don't know why she swallowed a dinosaur, but she went to explore. Join this rhyming adventure to the age of dinosaurs led by the scientists ready to learn everything there is to know about prehistoric lizards. That's There Was an Old Scientist Who Swallowed a Dinosaur, and you can find that book at our book fair. If you would, please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. All right, it is B-Day schedule, B-Day schedule. That's all I have for announcements, so turning it over to you, Principal Owens. Good morning, Tri-C Elementary. Today you can lead your own class in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Tri-C Creed, but for now I will read some names out of the Book of Success and also share with you a few books from this year's book fair. So congratulations to Dean Williams, Catalea Hall, Lily James, Adriana O'Quayley, Brooklyn, Harper McCann, Ava Lang, Xander Diefenbach, Maddox Motzinger, Madeline Benedict, J.C. Jamet, Layla Duncan, Emily Whitecotton, Avery Burris, Aaliyah Wade, Allie Taylor, Catherine Fosser, Connor Collins, Landon Halstead, Maddie Castillo, Kaylee Stevens, Tegan Thomas, Casey Walton, Belle G, Philip Doherty, Madeline Miller, Anna Dorsey, Liam Adams, Jordan Emerson, I'm sorry, Liam Adams, Emerson, Olivia Cheney, Bentley, Gabby Adams, and Jackson Ebert. I have a couple books that I grabbed from this year's book fair. Two of my favorite books that I have read are The Bad Seed and The Good Egg. They are written and illustrated by the same author illustrator and they have a new book this year called The Cool Bean. Uh, they're about the uh, stories of characters who are a seed, a bean, and an egg and they talk about their uh, experiences and how they can be cool, how they can be good, and uh, how they can get along with their friends. So those are three books that I glance at and chose out of the library to share with you today. That's all I have for announcements. Thanks and have a great day. We'll see you next week.